Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'll be converting this basic body block waist length into this fitted torso sloper. If you don't know how to do that, then welcome to this video. Without wasting much time, let's go ahead and start. The very first thing you need to do is to get a pattern paper and then measure 28 inches by 22 inches. Now, it depends on how you want your how long you want your full um torso to be your torso or the block to be but you can make it that uh, 30 inches by 22 inches is okay but for me i'm taking 28 inches by 22 inches then when you've done that and then you need your basic body block this front, the back one and the front one. If you don't know how to uh, create your basic body block, I will link the video below this video and also link it right here. Where you can go ahead and create this waist length basic body block pattern. So, once you have that, you're going to place it the way I've placed it on this pattern. You place the back and the front with the arm all facing themselves and we are going to trace it as it is on this pattern paper you trace everything including the darts everything you just trace it on this pattern paper so now as you can see i've traced everything everything on this pattern paper everything you know i've traced it i've drawn a line across the waist where the basic body block stops everything this is the side panel separating the front from the back everything including the back the darts at the back and the darts at the front everything has been traced as you can see i traced it so the next thing i did was to extend the center line of the dart that is the center line of the front that extend it to meet the hip line. This will be my hip line. Remember this line? 22 by 28. So that will be my hip line. But it depends what your hip line is. Remember this is your waist line to your hip line. So it depends. For most people it's 8 inches. For me it is 10 inches so i am going to extend mine up to here that's why i said you can you can make it by 20 um, by 30 inches so i'm going to extend this hip line to this line to get my full waist to hips but if your waist to hips is around eight or nine then this place will be okay for your hip line so as i said extend the that center that line of the front piece extend it to that hip line and do the same for the back piece just extend it like so and then find the center point between the boss point and the side line of the front and that is the center point now the only reason i'm doing this is optional so that if you want to create a front side that you can do that it's optional as i said you do not need to do it but i'm doing it in case i want to have double that when i'm converting this to a blazer so it's not it's optional but i'm just showing you in case you'll be interested in it just get the center between the bust point and the side line, and that is the center, and just draw a line across to the end. And then we'll do the same for the back. 
for the back pattern you also find the center point from the side to the bust point which is this place and then you draw your line to meet the hip line so i'm showing it to you so that you just do that and then we will continue from there in this section we will extend the dart for our fitted torso sloper so for the back part we are going to extend the dart six inches long from the waist extend it six inches long and for the front part we are going to extend the dart three and a half inches long from the waist so now we are going to be shaping our hip the hip part of our fitted torso sloper so you now come to the hip line that's the hip line my back hips is 23 inches you need to measure the back hip that's from your side hip to your side hip on the back side the idea of measuring your hips and divided by four as a lot of people do for me is wrong because the front hip size and the back hip is not the same because of your behind so first measure your back from your side of your hip to the side of your hip from the back for me it's 23 inches right there and then divide it by two that gives me 11.5 inches so i'm going to start from here which is the center back line and then i'll measure that 11.5 inches this way and i'll mark it right there that's my 11.5 inches it is best to use two different colors and you're going to see why in a few minutes so once i've marked it with blue i'm now going to my front hip my front hip is 21 inches and when i divide that by two i have 10.5 so and i'm also going to measure that on the front side i draw the paper so on the front side i'm also going to start from the center front line right there and i'm going to measure it towards this side and that will be 10.5 so from that center front, I will measure 10.5 inches and I'll mark it with a red marker. So that's, that, that's it, the front and the back. So now we are now going to join the waist we're going to be joining the waist right there to form the curve of the hip to meet that line and we're going to join from the side seam of the front to meet the red line to meet the red line from the side seam of the front to meet the red line from the side seam of the back to meet the blue mark and we are going to be i'm going to be using my hip curve to do that use your hip curve to do that so you just like placing it like so that is the waist of the back pattern and then make it such that it meets with the blue mark which is our hip for the back so i will just draw the curve place it very well i will just draw the curve so that is it you see the curve for the back part of our fitted torso and then you see the curve for the front part of our fitted torso so that is the way it looks so what i'm going to do now we are now going to trace 
the front part and the back part on another pattern so that we can cut it. You know, you cannot cut it like this because it is overlapping. So we'll now trace this out on a fresh pattern. You can use a transparent pattern. We'll trace this all out so that we can cut it out individually. But before we do that, I'm going to show you how you can create a side that in case you want. No, let me leave it. It might cause confusion. Let me leave it like that for another video. So just know that this is the way to prepare your fitted torso from your basic waist length body block. So let me quickly place another pattern paper on top of this. And I'm going to be using a tracing wheel to trace it out on another pattern paper. And I'm going to cut it out individually so that you see the way it looks. So I've placed a transparent filter paper on top of the back part. And I'm going to trace it out. And I'll do the same for the front part. If you want to buy this transparent paper, I bought it from Amazon. I will drop the link below this video in case you're interested in buying it. So let me quickly trace the back part and the front part of our close fit basic torso pattern. This is the finished part of our basic fitted torso sloper or torso pattern so that's what it looks like i've transferred everything on the transparent paper i have not i have labeled my pattern this is the back part and this here is the front part of our fitted torso sloper it's quite easy to transform your waist length basic body block to a fitted torso sloper. You can see how easy it is. Now, I kept this line here. That is the back side that line and the front side back line. That is because there are some, if you want to convert this to a blazer, which is going to be my next video, there are some blazers you might need to put a side that especially when you're putting the pocket that side that that comes to where the pocket comes on the blazer that's why this is here so stay tuned to watch my next video as i convert this fitted torso sloper to a female blazer 